Now, you may be creating things that other counselors at your site may want to use, and there is a way that you can share assignments or share modules, share announcements. Anything you create, you can actually share with others on Canvas. And so the first thing you need to do is go over to the left-hand side of your screen where there's this C with an arrow, and that is Canvas Commons. Canvas Commons is a place where you can find lessons, activities, courses, anything really from anyone on Canvas. The first time you use it, I believe it asks you to type something in or press OK. It's been years since I first joined Commons. Um, so just know that there's something you have to click. There'll be a pop up message or something that shows up. But now you can see that these are all of the different things that other people have posted in Canvas Commons. And I can search or filter over here on the right hand side. And I can filter by, let's say, courses, modules, discussions. And I have specific groups. Who are they shared with? Are they shared with the entire world? Are they shared just within our district? Were they shared with particular groups? So for example, it might just be shared with Carmont biology teachers. And so that could help you narrow down. You can create a group that might be um, Carmont counselors or SUHSD counselors, or you can have them set up for different sites, however you wanna do that. What you need to do is um, send Barbara Reckless an email and ask her to set you up a Canvas Commons group and she might only send you a, um, like send it to one person. For example, I am the one who, um, once the Karma Biology group was created, if I click on that, um, you can see that some people are managers like Jen Cho, Ralph Cream, they're managers. I am the one who created this group, so I can then go in and add all of the other people in the department. But when you go to search for a user, you can only, it will only find users who have gone into Canvas Commons once before. So if you had not clicked into Canvas Commons and have not gone into it, you won't be able to be added to the group. So make sure that you have done that. Now, how this works to um, import resources, I'll show you how to share resources, but let's say you go in and you wanna find a resource from your particular group. So again, you go to filter, you can then go to your particular group. So I'm going to go to Karma Biology. And let's say I want to import this cyber sandwich climate change assignment. So I can click on the assignment. And I could view the assignment and see what it's about. I could see any details of updates, etc. But then I can choose import and download. So if I click on that, you will see your list of classes. I have had a million lists or a million classes over the years, so I want to find the um, counselor one. So here's the counselor course. So I just did a search, started typing it in, and I could import it into this course. So I'm going to click import into course. And then I'm going to go over to my course. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard, or I can go into my courses. Either one will get me there. And I'm going to choose the counselor course. And if I go over to my assignments, here you can see I have an imported assignment, the Cyber Sandwich Climate Change. I don't want a group called Imported Assignments, so normally what I'll do is I'll grab that assignment and I'll put it up here into Assignments. It's not a presentation. And then I can delete this weird group that was created. And now what I can do is um, show you how to share your assignments that you created. So I can go over to this counselor presentation. And when I click on the three dots to the right of it, it says share to comments. I could also do that with um, a module. So if I go over to modules, I can click on the particular assignment. Or maybe I create this whole module that I want to share. So I can go up to the module bar, this gray bar where the three dots are, and I can share to Commons as well. So I'm going to click Share to Commons. 
This works with announcements too. You'll be able to share announcements to common, pretty much everything you create. So the first thing it asks is, is it an update to a previously shared resource? I've never shared this one before, so no, it's not an update. Well, let's say my cyber sandwich, I have shared it, and then I go in and I make some edits. I might re-upload it to Commons, and I would check that box. But this is a brand new assignment. So who can use this resource? So here's where I get to choose. Only you, probably not, if you don't want to share it just with you. Maybe you want to share it with all of the district, or you want a select group. So for example, Carmont Biology, or you can make it public so anyone can use it. So you can choose where you want it to go, and then you can choose whether it's a template or open textbook. This is new, and I, I'm kind of unsure of what that might mean specifically. I don't think you're gonna want either of those though. You can choose the license. I like to make it attribution share alike because if I create something, I'm happy with someone else using it if, as long as they don't copyright it. Um, this is the title of it. You're going to write a description. You have to write a description of it. You can add tags. So this might be like registration or it might be um, whatever the topic is. You have to add an image. I normally just take whatever the first image is. You can choose what grade level it's for, whether it's all students, actually registration is probably 10 through 12, um, and then you're going to say share. I'm not going to press share right now because I don't want this weird assignment to actually be public, but you would press share. And then, just like I showed you earlier of how to get an assignment from Canvas Commons into your own course, other counselors would be able to do the same.